and I have a few things to do this morning that are not necessarily fun things, but things that I need to take care of nonetheless. <laughs> and so um, I just thought maybe you guys want to hang out with me while I do that. Um, one of them is washing my brushes, which is not very fun, but it's something that I have to do. So I'm going to fix me some coffee, wash my brushes, um, and I also need to organize my jewelry. Like I was in my closet and looking through my jewelry and looking for things that I know I have and I can't find and things that I want to wear that I haven't been able to wear. So I really need to organize that. So if you want to just hang out with me today and maybe you want to organize your jewelry as well or anything in your closet, maybe you want to organize your makeup um, and wash your brushes. Okay. <laughs> You probably need to wash your brushes too. But yeah, things like that that you might need to do or not really necessarily want to do, but you want somebody to hang out with while you do them, I'm your girl. Okay, let's do it together. So yeah, I'm going to start out by making me some coffee and then we can get this day started. going to tackle a task that I've been avoiding really don't want to deal with it I still don't want to deal with it today <laughs> but I need to do it so I'm like you know what today let's just go ahead and tackle it and that task is really going to be trying to organize some of my jewelry that's a little more messed up and scattered around and crazy um in my closet so um I don't know if you guys, I'm pretty sure most women do that have like jewelry that they wear and stuff like that every day or just throughout the week have like these little catch-all trays where you just kind of take off your jewelry, throw it in a tray, you know, until you're ready to put it away. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not the only person that does that, but I actually have a couple of them, as you can see, that just has random jewelry in there that I've worn and just kind of thrown in here because I've didn't feel like putting it away or where it belongs at the right, you know, at that particular moment. But I have these trays. I need to put this jewelry away. Um, For some reason, I am on like a gold kick right now. I used to only wear silver. So I have a lot of silver um, jewelry and stuff in here. As you can see, 
rings, earrings, you know, watches and stuff that's just kind of thrown in there. So this actually can be better organized. Let's see if I can open it. Yeah, because it's this stuff is just <laughs> just thrown in there and it'll kind of weigh. It has like little section for rings and stuff that I'm not even using. But um, it's a really cute little jewelry box. Um, I think I got in some type of like free giveaway or whatever. But I need to organize that. Now, for the most part, I am pretty organized when it comes to jewelry. I have this little, you know, necklace holder that I got from Amazon. So if you're curious or need something like that, I'll go ahead and put it in my Amazon link down in the description box. Um, and then, you know, I wear hoops, large earrings most of the time. And so I have this, which is super cute. My husband got me this a long time ago. It's like, you know, a lady in a really fancy dress, but instead of a head, <laughs> she has little hooks and stuff, you know, for all of my earrings, as you can see, they're just dangling on there. So very, very cute um, holder for my hoops, which is nice because I could just throw them on there whenever I'm not wearing them. But for the most part, I'm pretty organized. Like, you know, I keep my bracelets and stuff on these little holders that I got from Amazon as well. They're perfect for holding your bracelets, holding your watches and stuff like that. So I love, love, love these. <laughs> as you can see, I'm pretty much out of room, but they really help me to keep all of my stuff organized, easy to see, easy to grab. So I do love that. It makes getting ready so much easier. But <laughs> I have two areas that have jewelry in them that are a really big problem for me. And the first one is in my actual jewelry drawer. As you can see, this is a hot mess. It is a hot mess. And I have a lot of jewelry in here that I actually want to wear. Like I love my hoops and stuff. You know, it's easy for me to grab my rings and stuff, you know, whenever I want to wear them. But everything else in here is kind of just thrown in here. It's a mess. And I really, really need to <laughs> organize this so it'll look nice and pretty. So I pulled out my one of my little trays here so I can just take everything out organize it and really get this together put my other jewelry away and just kind of get organized but the other area where I have kind of a little bit of a mess let me show you guys so this cabinet here which has a mirror on it as well as you can see it's a really really handy cute little cabinet that has a mirror in front of it love it to death but it's like, it's a bit of a mess as well. I used to have it more organized and neat, but you know, it's a great jewelry organizer. Got this on Amazon too. Okay, I'll put that in my Amazon store as well. But it's like, you can see I have some stuff just kind of thrown in here and just not really neatly organized. The necklaces, you know, I have some of my little costume gold and silver necklaces in here and stuff some more you know just of my cheap rings and stuff that you could throw on with outfits and everything i would say this part up here that has like all of my different like colorful eccentric earrings and stuff that's pretty organized so that's fine but once you start moving down here <laughs> like i have some of my more costumey necklaces and stuff that i like to wear when I have like dressing nights on cruises and stuff like that. But that is a complete mess. This is a mess. <laughs> this is a mess. So this is another project that I want to tackle today is just kind of getting my stuff neat and organized. Maybe doing a little decluttering and seeing how that goes. Okay, so I think I'm just going to quickly go through everything and just start taking stuff out. I like, listen, I have these, don't ask me why, I keep these little bags, you know, that my jewelry comes in sometimes. Not all of them, but I keep some of them <laughs> just because um, even though I have a little jewelry holder for when I travel, you know, cute little jewelry holder, I still like <laughs> to have like little bags and stuff to kind of put 
very very small things in like my nose rings and stuff like that because those tend to kind of get lost very easily so i do keep you know some of these little bags and holders to put things like that in when i travel so i'll just kind of go through and see how many of those i want to keep um this i actually this came with my jbw watch when i bought it so i think this is kind of like the certification and stuff of it so i'm gonna keep that as well just in case um what is this this is like a fashion file tag i don't know why i have that this is for a gucci bag that i bought from fashion file if you're not familiar with them they sell um previously owned um luxury items you know gucci uh louis vuitton fendi you know all the name larger name brands that you want to buy like bags and shoes and jewelry and stuff but you don't mind if it was gently used because you want to pay a lesser price fashion file is a brand for that but i really don't need that um what else do i have on this side <laughs> these are just a bunch of different types of nose cups and i just keep them in here in this little box top but yeah these are a bunch of different tiny little nose cups i have to figure out what i want to do with those and these are nose rings as well <laughs> you know the kind that you just pop in your hole and they're kind of bent so i have a tendency to lose these in my sleep <laughs> when i'm washing my face in the shower i lose them everywhere and so i just keep a lot of them on hand and these are the type of things that i like to throw in these little jewelry bags when i travel because it's less likely for me to lose them when they're in here so got to figure out how i want to organize that these are just a pair of hoops that i got from target i have quite a few you know of my target hoops and stuff that i love that i like to keep them on the little paper things so that they don't get lost and mismatched and stuff so that's why they're still on here different ones different designs that I have purchased and haven't worn yet. So all of these, these are from Target as well. I might have shown these in one of my recent videos, but these really, really cute. These, I only have one more pair on there because I do have several holes in my ear, so I wear smaller earrings than those. But I want to kind of organize those as well somehow, so I'm just going to put those over there in the tray these hoops really really cute i don't remember where i got these from but i love them because the back to the earring is actually attached <laughs> and so when you put it on you just kind of stick it in there like that so it's like you can never lose the backs to these hoops i think that's so cute very simple design but very cute do not remember where i got those from but i think i'm going to put these with my silver jewelry once I get that organized these I absolutely love oh my gosh I love these and I can't remember where I got, I'm like did I get these from Target they look like something that I got from Target quite honestly they're so beautiful I love the ridge on here these are super duper cute and so I want to put those you know keep those in front now these earrings I've got from a brand that I found on Instagram. Oh, I love these earrings. If I can remember the brand name, I'll put it in the description box. But they're so cute. They're these really, really large, kind of like uh, boho style, you know, dangly earrings. They have the little uh, hook latch on there. But the, they're so cute. They look really, really cute with like sundresses and stuff. And these as well you know they just have the little dangler so these i absolutely love but like large earrings like this if i don't hang them on my hoop earring thing you know i have to keep them in this big box so that they don't get lost or whatever these super super cute uh, really pretty what are these this looks like my birthstone my birthstone is ruby and so I just have these cute little studs here. I'm not sure where I got them from, but I'll definitely wear those. Those are super cute. So we'll put those right there. Um, some more. Oh, these are cute. I remember buying these. 
um, I think I ordered these on Amazon. And it looks like they sent me like an extra pair of pearls. I don't really wear pearl or faux pearl earrings, but they're cute, I guess. But these, I remember ordering these. These are kind of like, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see these because they're so small. But they're like those kind of earrings where you put them on and they kind of look like they're crawling up your ear. You know, when you put them in your, um, your post. So I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's kind of like crawler type earrings. So they're really, really cute when you put them on really like those so see i didn't even i forgot that i even had these and i definitely will wear these so let me take these out as well and i'll keep these pearls these are i actually bought these from amazon they're like little clear um things that you put on the back of your rings when they're too big so if you have a ring that's like too large or something it's a ring sizer so it makes your rings fit better if you just put the little plastic part like on the back or the inside of your rings when they're too big then it kind of helps them to fit on your ring better i actually need to put some on <laughs> but have not done so got a couple of bracelets that I've just thrown in here I got these bracelets in Hawaii so they're really really cute and they're just kind of like you know handmade bracelets but yeah I got these in Hawaii so I need to put this with the rest of my bracelets though actually now listen 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 okay these earrings let me put this on here absolutely gorgeous now don't ask me when i'm ever going to wear these earrings or wear but look at these earrings they are absolutely gorgeous another brand that i found on um instagram and they're they're as you can see i don't know if you can see but they're they're pretty big you know they're pretty big let me <laughs> let me compare it to my coffee cup okay this is my coffee cup and these are the earrings so you can truly see how big they are compared to my coffee cup okay pretty big but these are so freaking gorgeous ah and i need to find an outfit to wear that with and i also got this which is a bracelet that goes along with those earrings so pretty it's just beautiful and it says on here vanessa shiny and chic so if you like these earrings and she they have like a million different designs that are like these so if you like these definitely check this brand out because they're so gorgeous they're very unique you know like nobody else is going to have this is the bag that they came in nobody else is going to have um those earrings honey anywhere you go i'm, I'm pretty sure of it See, here's another nose ring that got lost in there. This is just some type of hyperallergenic <laughs> nose ring I'm sure I got when I got something pierced. So I'm going to keep that. Some more gorgeous gold hoops. Definitely look like something I got from Target. You know, I'm definitely a hoop girl. If you guys are like, this girl got more hoops than Michael Jordan. These are some rings that I have purchased <laughs> that I fell in love with. I think this one is Morganite. Um, and this one is Tanzanite, I believe. Anyway, they're very beautiful, nice, gorgeous, pricey rings that I wear whenever I want to add a little razzle-dazzle to my hands. I definitely, you know, grab one of these when I'm trying to feel expensive because they are beautiful and they're not costume <laughs> they are definitely real so i absolutely love those um and then i have a lot of jewelry in here that i've got from uh what is it called paparazzi you know the five dollar jewelry and stuff 
I have a lot of this stuff in here that I really need to put somewhere where I will actually wear it like this bracelet I got here it's kind of funky a little bit different you know their stuff is not like super expensive so the quality is not the greatest but they have some cute stuff you know some earrings that you know will look cute with something they're kind of like a bronzy type bronzy type shade who very cute design there I have those this is a bracelet um, I'm not sure if I will even wear this this might get decluttered but it's really pretty with the lavender on there but I'm not sure if I'll wear that that's probably gonna get decluttered um, and here's some more bronzy type hoops which I really don't wear like bronze colored hoops so I don't know if I'm gonna keep these either what is this this these are earrings as well oh but these have a necklace I believe that they go with child the necklace is probably hanging in my other um, jewelry holder so yeah these are cute I wear those with something for sure they're very cute little dangly dangly danglers Now these earrings here I don't know I probably got these from the beauty supply you know they're just those kind of hoops that you can get 50 <laughs> 50 of them for like a dollar at the beauty supply but these look like they're already turning and I haven't even worn them so these are going to get thrown away because I don't want you know anything that's already turning some more paparazzi earrings very cute so I'll put those where I can see them these I don't remember where I got these from and they're so pretty where did I get these from I don't know but they're super cute super cute definitely will wear those all of these are earrings that I got like in that little boho set that I got from Amazon um, that came with a bunch of different boho style earrings I just showed some of these recently in my spring and summer vibe um, video and so I have even more of those that I need to put somewhere <laughs> some more free pearl earrings I'm pretty sure I got these when I bought some hair or something these are they're really cute but I'm just not a pearl person um, yeah these are just random silver hoops that I need to put with my other silver jewelry I love the kind of hoops where it's like it just has the clasp on the back so you don't have to worry about losing backs or finding backs those are perfect so those are gonna go with my silver stuff more boho earrings and I want to keep all of these together these are really really cute I think, did I get these from DJ's Unique Boutique? These look like earrings that I got from my girl DJ's Boutique. She has some really, really cute items on her website. And I'm thinking I got these from her. Not really sure, but these are super cute. Little Africa earrings. Very cute. Definitely sundress summer type of vibe for me some more of my paparazzi earrings these are kind of like pop of color you know you add a pop of color to your outfit very cute these are some more paparazzi earrings these are like hearts you know that you kind of with posts so this is like a rose gold and then this is a silver that with the paparazzi stuff these are some rings that I got from paparazzi just you know kind of like costume rings you can throw on with different outfits add a little razzle dazzle so they're cute and the back is kind of like this expandable you know back on here so it fits a lot of different sizes so there's that
So I think with my rings, because I might actually, I think what I might actually do for my rings is kind of find another separate ring holder so I could separate gold rings and silver rings and stuff just to make it more easy for me. So I think that might be what I do. Um, this I got from uh, Ana Luisa. This was actually a gift from my girl Lily. She got me this bracelet along with a necklace and some earrings that I wear <laughs> basically every day. But yeah, it's from Ana Luisa and it's absolutely gorgeous. And the funny thing is, is that um, I have another one of these bracelets because I had bought one for myself a long time ago and totally... Um, you know, forget about it, don't wear it, but I love, love, love this bracelet. So I'm going to put this over here so I can put that away. These are some more paparazzi earrings, I believe. Just cute little danglers. Very cute. Now these earrings, oh, they're so cute. Um, child, I could not tell you where I got these from. They're little butterflies, and they have, like, the little post on the back. You know, they're post-style earrings. But, yeah, these are super, super pretty. Butterfly dangly earrings. Very, very cute. I love these. And never wear them because they're buried under all of my other stuff. And then in here, I just have some more little cute dangly gold dangly earrings as well so these are very cute am i the only one that just kind of has a bunch of stuff all over the place unorganized and i'm not wearing all of my cute jewelry because it's just everywhere am i the only one i don't think i'm the only one some more little costume earrings these are hearts that have like little diamonds on them super duper cute hopefully that's focusing but these are super cute i love 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 these in here i have oh i got these from hawaii look at this little pineapple earrings they're cute little danglers as you can see but yeah so so cute got those in hawaii there's some more cute little danglers have no idea where i got these from but these are cute as well. I think these go with one of my uh, large costume necklaces that I like to wear, take on cruises and stuff to wear. I like to wear these whenever I'm trying to make a statement. So these are super cute, you know, um, queen earrings. And they have the little razzle dazzle on them. So they're super duper cute. Oops. Child upside down, backwards. <laughs> ah! But anyways. That's what they look like. Super duper cute. So I'm just putting a box here so I can put my loose danglers in there so that they don't just end up all over the place. What is this? Ooh, another pair of my favorite earrings right here that I forgot that I had. My little crosses. Okay, so these are cute little danglers. Crosses as well. Very cute. I believe I got those on Amazon. So I put those in there. Um, bracelet. Very, very cute bracelet. I believe I got this like on Fashion Nova or Shein or something. Or could have been Amazon. But it's just a really, really pre pretty um, bracelet. And it has, um, you know, like some little bling in there. And it's the kind that's like easy to wear because it doesn't have a clasp. You know, you just kind of pull this little thing down and it sizes the bracelet for you when you pull it down like that so yeah love that these are some more really pretty super duper tiny danglers so very very tiny danglers right there and then I have a couple of studs in here Ooh, chow. look at this so I have these which are really pretty and then I have what is this I have these which are super pretty studs as well so put 
those in here so I don't lose them. All of these rings right here, I'm just going to leave them because um, most likely they're going to stay right there. I have a bunch of other gold jewelry that I've kind of just stuck right here. A couple of gold rings. So, yeah, I have gold rings in here that I need to figure out where I'm going to put those. So, I'm going to put these in my little tray for now till I get a new ring holder. And then... I have these earrings, super cute. They say queen on them. And they're hoops. So I have some gold hoops that say queen. These are like a, some type of, is this a hexagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. Anyway. <laughs> so I have these, these hoops here. I've never been good with, I know octagon is eight. Um, but anyway. So I have those. I have these super cute small gold earrings I like to put in like a second hole in my ear and so this here is a gold necklace it just has a cross on it so yeah gold necklace with a cross I need to put this with the rest of my necklaces okay so now it's empty let me go ahead and organize this and then I will show you guys the final product Okay, you guys, so I made some progress, um, some good progress, actually. I'm very, very happy. I realized when going through all my jewelry that your girl has a lot of hoops, okay? I do not need to buy another Singer Solitary hoop. These are all hoops where I still, I have to figure out what I'm going to do with them and where I'm going to put them. I'll probably have to buy another, you know, little holder or something, something more efficient than this, because this is actually quite crazy, to where I just throw my hoops on here, but I feel like I like it. It's cute. You know, hubby gave it to me, but I'm going to definitely look on Amazon for another option for storing my hoops because it's just, it's gotten out of hand. This one is completely full and I still have all of these to deal with. My little silver jewelry box, I kind of cleared it out a little bit, really went through, decluttered some jewelry. I still need to come up with um, a better storage option for some of this stuff as well because as you can see it's just all over the place um, so I'm still working on that but um, and I actually have over here you know a little donation pile so I have different necklaces and stuff that I'm not wearing and not going to wear that I need to kind of you know untangle and go ahead and give to goodwill or woman's shelter so that's what i got going over there but let's start with this drawer because y'all look how nice and neat okay i made some good progress in this drawer i'm really happy it might still look crazy to some of you guys but i don't know i just love hoops and i have to have a lot of hoops so i have my gold on this side as you can see and I kind of tried to make it nice and neat with the different sizes and shapes of hoops and whatnot so really happy about that I have my larger earrings here these bracelets don't fit on my bracelet holder so I just kind of have them sitting there I have um, gold rings strategically in here and my gold necklace back there so it's like I know where everything is at. I can see it. I still have all of my little, you know, costume rings here. I love buying these kind of rings from like flea markets and when I go on cruises and stuff because they're just kind of fun to have, fun to wear. Um, you know, this one is like one of my favorites actually. I think I got that in Hawaii. It's like a pearl toned flower. It's so pretty. So anyways, yeah, my rings are pretty pretty neat <laughs> and then over here I put mostly my silver stuff so you know just kind of organized it in a way where I can easily see it easily grab my items and I'm not like trying to figure out where the match is and this and that now as far as my nose rings I'm still trying to figure those out I don't like to just throw them in you know my drawer because I could just put them in here but I like being able to just pick up the box and take it in the bathroom with me and pick one out or when I'm traveling I like to be able to pick up the box and you know take it out of here without having to dig through this tray in the drawer so 
this I feel like <laughs> I made really good progress on I'm very happy and it is done let's close okay can you close don't embarrass me thank you okay <laughs> so now over here where I have my other um you know jewelry holder in here I really really am happy with the little bit of organizing that I did because it's much much better after I decluttered like a lot of my costume jewelry and necklaces and stuff I really just kind of have only the ones that I feel like I will actually wear you know I kept those in here and I kind of laid them out in a way where it would be easy for me to see you know what's what and easy to grab so yeah that's that over here I just hung you know some more of the earrings that I want to keep along with my colorful hoops would you guys believe those are earrings <laughs> these big things are actual earrings i know it's crazy but yeah i got them and i'm keeping them this i really didn't touch i added a couple of sets in there that i needed to fit somewhere so i did add a couple of sets in there up there i really didn't do much left that alone but i really went through these little plastic areas and just kind of cleared a bunch of junk out so some of those are actually empty to where i have room to grow and space to use for my necklaces i really went through and decluttered it's really mostly silver in here and then i just put my gold bracelets in there but yeah so they're much much easier to see much easier to grab very very happy about that and then down here i just put some of my extra earrings since they're like the ones with the posts um you know some of them are kind of harder to hang so i just kind of placed them in there where i can see them and easily access them <laughs> these i still haven't taken out of the plastic don't ask me why i just feel like i'm just gonna keep them sanitary a little bit longer and then i was able to go ahead and just place my some of my bangle bracelets down here that i have and really really love and so that is that but yeah i feel like i did a good job organizing my little um you know jewelry holder here and like i said i have room to actually grow so yeah that is that very happy about that you guys okay you guys so i thought i would go ahead and unbox these items with you guys that i got from amazon all of these i ordered from amazon and um I really have just been like <laughs> tired of constantly feeling like I need to go and get a pedicure like every freaking week, you know, and so I wanted to be able to just kind of soften and pamper my feet myself. <laughs> and so I ordered some stuff from Amazon, kind of want to see how this stuff works, if it's going to work. So um, the first thing I have here is, uh, what is this? This is one of those scrapers. It's a foot care tool. So this is like a whole little, my coffee out the way. This is like a whole little set of, you know, foot care tools, you know what they use to scrub your feet. <laughs> I don't know if you guys' feet be as bad as mine when I go to the, uh, nail salon but child, i be needing some scrubbing okay so this has you know one of the large paddle things which these things scare me but girl she be going in and you know getting all that dead skin off of the bottom of my feet so it has one of these large ones in here and then it has um you know like a different style i guess Something. This side looks a little less harsh. It has some texture to it, but it's not as aggressive. And then this one, you know, is a smaller one for scrubbing that dead skin and calluses and stuff. And it looks like, does this open? John, I don't want to break my nail. But you see here, it looks like that opens up. So you can take the dead skin um, that you scrubbed off of your feet out of there, I guess. So... I'm excited to have these because your girl's going to be scrubbing. Now, in order to kind of soften up, up my feet when I use um, the foot spa, I did try out or I grabbed this lavender kit 
It's a callus remover kit. It has a remover gel and lavender oil foot soak. And this is from a company called Foot Cure. So I've never tried them before, but I'm hoping that, you know, they're going to work out nicely. I really like the smell of lavender, but this is how the kit comes in this box, you know, with both items. Looks like there's something else in here. Oh, it says, please wear me, I'm disposable gloves. <laughs> so they give you some disposable gloves, which is cool. But this is extra strand callus remover gel. So for dry heels and calluses. So I'm assuming I need to put some of this on my feet and just kind of uh, rub it in and let it sit for a minute, you know, to soften everything up. And then I can kind of go in, you know, with the scrubber. But this here is some soothing lavender foot soap. Therapeutic Epsom salt, dead sea salt with 100% pure essential oils um, to put in the foot bath. So I'm really excited about using this. So I got those two in this one little kit together. And all of this stuff I will definitely link in my Amazon store. If you click on my Amazon link, um, in the description box, you'll find all this stuff. And I also picked up this Gold Bond Softening Hydrating Foot Cream. It is shea butter and jojoba, helps condition and soften your feet. So I figured I'd grab some of this so I can put this on after I get done, you know, soaking them, scrubbing them, all of that good stuff to make my feet nice and soft. And so I got that. And then I also grabbed this. This is a premium electric callus remover. So this, um, it says it's an automatic vacuum, easy operation, fast charging with an LED display and it's for wet or dry use. So this is what it looks like. So if I don't wanna use the scrubber, you know, this thing here, I guess I can use this to kind of scrub the dead skin off of my feet and so yeah that's what the back looks like if you're curious but let's go ahead and open this up see what's happening okay so it has you know the little manual in here and then this is what it looks like oh it's cute so it has a little holder it has the charging cord a brush i would assume to clean you know clean it off and then it has these different discs that you can put on here to use for scrubbing so oh this is cute so this is what it looks like nice ergonomic type handle you know it has a little curve in it so that's cool and so I guess I'm gonna charge it up and see you know how strong it is see how long it lasts and see if it really helps to grind <laughs> grind that dead skin off my feet okay y'all ain't no shame in my game honey because i know i'm not the only one to be getting dry feet i'm definitely going to um take care of that honey especially during spring and summer you out here in sandals and cute little heels and stuff you don't want your feet looking toe up and cracked and dry and crazy okay so got that and then lastly i have this foot spa they have like 5 million foot spas <laughs> on Amazon. And it was just like, okay, well, which one do I choose? You know, which one is the best? So, honey, I just picked one that I felt was a decent price and that looked like it had, you know, almost five stars or whatever. So, you know, I'll link this one as well, just in case you like the way it looks or whatever and you want to grab it for yourself. So let's pull it out. Okay. So we got the little instruction booklet here. So that's good, always handy. Got your cord, you know. And the one that I got, it has the, you know, massage bubbles and the heat as well with the um foot spa so what is this oh this is like a little little pumice stone well it's nice and rough which goes in the spa here i don't know 
if it'll stay, but this is what the one that I grabbed looks like. I liked it because it has the digital display, you know, easy um, access and easy press buttons. Also, it has like the little massage foot rollers on the inside. It has the pumice stone so you can kind of, you know, rub your feet across that to also help scrub off the dead skin. And then it has this light here to let you know when the heat is on, you know, heating up the water. So yeah, I think it's a really nice size. It's a really decent size. It's something I'm excited to use. I had one of these a long time ago, but cannot find it. I <laughs> have no idea where it went. And so I'm really excited to have another one. So I'll keep you guys posted, let you know how this one works. Hopefully it works really well. And child, I cannot wait to try this out because my feet need some tender loving care, okay? Okay, you guys. Hey, how you doing? I guess I figured I'd show my face <laughs> for a hot second on this vlog, even though um, I think this is pretty much going to wrap it up with the unboxing of the foot care stuff because this vlog is going to be long because I went through all of my jewelry and everything. And right now, I'm really sitting here just trying to figure out what palette I want to use next um like makeup and tutorial videos are really hard for me to do edit upload and all that stuff because y'all they really don't get the views they just don't i don't know if people just don't like tutorials anymore or they just don't like my tutorials <laughs> i don't know but it's like it's a lot of work to do all the editing the filming the editing and uploading when they don't really get that many views and I don't want to put up content that people don't want to watch. So I know you guys love shop my stashes and stuff, but I can't do a shop my stash every week. I mean, technically I can, <laughs> but I think that would kind of defeat the purpose. Maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do like, uh, shop my stash and use just those products, you know, in that video. Maybe that is something you guys want to see. I don't know. Sound off in the comments. Let me know um, besides Shop My Stash, because I know <laughs> people love those videos. What other type of videos you like to see? What type of content you want to see from me? What interests you and things like that? I do want to kind of get out and do like some Shop With Me videos, whether it be, you know, for drugstore items, shopping at Ross or TJ Maxx, things like that, kind of seeing what's out there, even though I really don't want to just acquire and accumulate a whole bunch of stuff, you know, just for content. It has to be stuff that I'm actually going to use and I actually want to have in my collection. So, I mean, that'll be pretty easy because I love to shop. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. I don't know, maybe some of you guys want to see me cooking some stuff. I don't know, y'all. But let me know. Oh, look. Okay, so I got some new ink. <laughs> this area of my shoulder was driving me insane because the tattoos that I had there, I hated, 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 did not like them, hated seeing them and needed to get them covered and fixed and everything. And this, I absolutely love. So it's, I just got it yesterday. So it's looking real fresh and it's about to get real crunchy and real ugly, you know, to go through the healing process. But I really, really love it. So let me know you guys if you like it what you think but i think i'm pretty close to done <laughs> with getting ink i'm pretty close to done i love my cheetah i love my arm i love my sleeve to death you know but anyway so yeah i think that's probably gonna wrap up this video i have my from my spring palettes that i was going through or that i pulled out and shared with you guys a couple of videos ago um, I kind of narrowed it down to certain ones that I want to use for makeup looks. So I'm kind of going through these and just trying to decide what I want to do for today. And I'll probably have that on Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram and you like makeup looks, I typically post all of my makeup looks on Instagram, you know. And so 
yeah, if that's what you want to see, definitely follow me on Instagram because I post on there. And I want to start doing like some of those really short, quick tutorials on there as well. But anyway, that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today to do a little bit of organizing and unboxing and getting my life together. And I will see you on the next video. Toodles!